All right? <laughs> He's really nice here. I've just been down to reception. I bought her some Spanish state lottery tickets. I filled them in, I filled them in for you and everything. I bought some for you, look. There's some for Rodney there, look. And there's some for me. All right, I'll put yours down here. There you go. You never know. Never know our luck, because we're on a winning roll, aren't we? <laughs> Tell that to poor Rodney. Oh, look, don't keep going on about it. You're going to spoil the holiday, you are. Listen, have you a look around. What's here? Ah, oh, yeah, that's very nice. That must be Rodney's room. It's got a picture of Prince on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> if that's Rodney's room, where am I supposed to sleep? Well, well I thought that uh, you and Rodney... <coughs> no, maybe not, eh? No. <laughs> I'll sleep in there. You and Rodney can have the honeymoon bed. All right, all right. Anything you say, sweetheart, anything you say, I just thought it might be a bit strange when the old maid come in, you know, see me and old Rodney tucked up on the king size. <laughs> it would look even stranger if she found Rodney sleeping with his stepmother. <laughs> I never thought of that. <laughs> I'd better go and cancel breakfast in bed. <clears throat> Listen, do you want me to take that picture of Prince down off the wall there? Just Ke leave it, Derek. You've done enough for Rodney and I as it is. Oh, look. I thought the Cornflakes people would leave us alone to enjoy our holiday. I didn't know they were going to conscript Rodney into the groovy gang. I mean, why do they want to do that? Mr Perkins explained it to us. It's so the youngsters won't get bored and the parents can have a rest. I won't see him all week, will I? Yes, of course you will. <laughs> He's bound to get a spot of leave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, there he is. There they all go now. Hey, Rodney, don't go mad. <laughs> we just went down over that hill there. That was quick, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. They were on skateboards. <laughs> Rodney was the leader. He was right out in front. <laughs> leader of the pack. Oh, my God. Hmm? Hello? May I come in? Yes, come in. Oh. Hello, Mrs Trotter. Sure, sure. Oh, oh. Um, <laughs> good afternoon, Carmen. Is uh, Rodney here? No, he's not here at the moment. Oh. Oh, he's still out enjoying himself. <laughs> yes. Well, it's just to let him know about the junior disco on Wednesday night. But I'll come back later and see you then. Bye for now. That's it. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah, it's all right. Rodney likes a little dance. <laughs> it's a junior disco. Well, all right. We'll say he's ill. Oh, what more lies? No, that'll be the truth. <laughs> when we tell him, he's bound to be at Tottenham Dick. <laughs> Listen, uh, I'm going to have a wash. Let me go downstairs and see if we can get something to eat. All right. What about Rodney? Oh, that's all right. We'll pick him up down there somewhere. Yeah, just look for the nearest sand pit. <laughs> Very funny, yeah. <laughs> what have you been doing? <laughs> I've been skateboarding for some reason. Oh, I see. Who's Dale? He's having a wash. <laughs> Derek. Hello, brothers. Yes, I'm back. <laughs> could you come out, please? I'd like a word with you. <laughs> no, could you come out now? Oh, I've got my pants off, Rodney. <laughs> Well, it's quite urgent, Dale. Yeah, right. Give us five minutes, I'll be with you. <laughs> Sorry about the bad language, Cassandra. What bad language? Get it in there, you dipstick! I'm going to kill you! What's up with you? I'll tell you what's up with me. Thanks to you, I am now a 26-year-old man who just comes second in a skateboard derby. 